Hello, and welcome to episode 15 of the Beginner Guide to One Piece, The History of Monkey D. Luffy. Luffy was introduced in chapter 1, corresponding with anime episode number 1. It was stated by Oda that if Luffy was a real person, his nationality would be Brazilian. It was stated by Oda that Luffy gets a total of 5 hours of sleep every night. But now that we're done with the fun facts about Luffy, let's get in to the history of the character. The history of Monkey D. Luffy. Luffy was born in Fuxia Village, a village in the East Blue. When Luffy was 7 years old, 7 years old, uh, excuse me, he met and befriended a crew of pirates led by an affectionate captain named Red Haired Jet, the former cabin boy of Gold Roger crew. Though Luffy did not know that this does impact, malignantly impact the way Shanks acts around Luffy, as you will come to find out later on in the franchise. Luffy, inspired by them, decided to become a pirate as well. Luffy stabbed himself with a knife under his left eye to prove that he is tough enough to join Shanks' crew. During a thing with Shanks and he, Higami, I believe it is pronounced, a, la a local mountain man that, that insulted Shanks and his crew, Luffy, Monkey D. Luffy accidentally eats a devil fruit known as the Gumu Gumu no Mi or the Gum Gum Fruit and unwillingly turns itself into a rubber boy slash man. The later down the line, when he's an adult, he calls himself a rubber man, but at the time, he is obviously not a man. Initially, this situation affects Luffy badly, as it means he will never be able to swim again, which is a great weakness to anyone who wishes to journey the sea. This, however, did not deter Luffy's dream, and he continued aspiring to become a pirate. Later, Luffy sent up to Shigami on behalf of Shanks, of Shanks and his crew. However, he is easily defeated and becomes a hostage. His catchers are easily defeated by the red-haired pirate, but the bandit leaguer, Higami, has fled to the sea with Luffy. While out, while out at sea, Higami throws Luffy into the ocean, only to be attacked by a sea king moments later while he's laughing at Luffy. Higami is eaten alive, though Shanks manages to save Luffy. But he paid a dear price. A cop red-haired Shanks has lost his left arm to the sea king to save Luffy. Shortly after, Shanks sets sail along with his crew, but leaving, but before leaving, he and Luffy promise each other that one day, Luffy will gather a crew that the Esther even surpasses Shanks' crew and become the Pirate King. Shanks then le leaves Luffy his straw hat as a parting gift, telling him to t return it once he becomes a great pirate. Some time later, Monkey D. Garp, Luffy's granddaughter, take Luffy into the care of Curly Dada, which is the first time Luffy meets Porgoth D8. Garp took into Dada while Luffy refused. Garp picked him up and knocked on the door and put him down. He then gets spit on by the newly arriving ape, angrily glaring at each other. Thinking back about the recent incident with Higami, he tells Dada and the rest of the bandit that he hates them. Dada bicker, bitterly scolds the young kid for saying something like that, telling him that he should stay there or starve to death. Luffy takes a look at the eat, meat eating ape and asks if he can have a piece. He then gets scolded by Dada, telling him that he can do fine with just rice and water, but he sees Ace leave and follows him. Luffy said to be, that Ace to Ace that he is not angry at Ace for spitting on him. Since it is not something to get worked up about, which is obviously a reference to the Shank speech, the speech Shank gave in the bar, which you know, we'll go over maybe in another video about Shank, but whatever. And he wants to be friend, Ankrafon by knocking a tree down at Luffy. Luffy then follows Ace across the bridge. Ace notices him and knocks him off the bridge. Luffy returns to Dada's house a week later and tells Dada that he was being chased by wolves and fell off a cliff. Luffy gets sent to bed. The next day, Ace goes out again and Luffy follows, wanting to, start a, wanting to start a friendship, only to get shunned by Ace. After three months of persistently trying to follow Ace, 
Luffy eventually comes across Grey Talia. Ace overhears Ace and Salvo conversation about buying a pirate ship. Ace, Luffy shows to them and says, shows up to them and says that he wants to be a pirate too. Ace and Salvo then tie Luffy to a tree and decide that they should kill Luffy to keep their secret safe. While Luffy panics, Ace and Salvo have a hard time deciding who should kill Luffy, since both Ace and Salvo had never killed anyone before. They hear someone coming and they untie Luffy and go hide. Porchimon, I believe the name is, of the Blue Jam Pirate, arrives searching for stolen money. Luffy then wanders off and gets caught by Porchimon. Luffy yells out its name. Porchimon recognizes the name and takes Luffy away for interrogation. I have been informed that his name is Porchimi, so that's what we're going to call him for now on. Porchimi then drags Luffy into a small house and, ties, and then ties him up. Luffy states that he is not going to say anything. Luffy Poochimi then persists, then persists to hit Luffy with a giant hammer, but that doesn't seem to harm Luffy due to his devil fruit power. Poochimi then uses spiked gloves, and no matter how many times Poochimi beats Luffy, he refuses to yield and tell them the information he seeks. Poochimi loses his patience and draws a sword, and is about to kill Luffy when Ace and Sabo arrive. They cut Luffy loose and defeat Poochimi out of the woods, Ace asked Luffy, why did he not tell Porchimi about the whereabouts of Sabo and Ace's stolen treasure? Luffy then tells Ace that he wants to be f a friend of his. He wants them to become Nakama. He wants them to be friends. And he has no parent with him. And he hates to be alone. After that, Luffy joins Ace and Sabo. And the trio start making a name for themselves. Later on, Luffy is shown fighting Ace with the former loser for the 50th time. After that, along with Sabo, they go to hunt Gato for the trash, looking for trash and get in into Grey Talia and eat on the, and, and they also do some eating run. However, while they were running from the restaurant, a man called out Sabo's name, causing Luffy and Ace to question him. Sabo said that, that the man who called out his name was his dad, a noble. He tells him about his past and then said that he wants to be free as a pirate and read a book about the world. Everyone soon realizes that they cannot agree to be on the same pirate ship as Captain. So Ace comes up with an idea, telling a Luffy and Sabo that they can become brothers by exchanging drinks of sake. As long as they have that bond, this bond, or that bond, whatever you want to say, it will no not matter where they are, they will always be brothers. Now, this is the static part of Luffy's backstory, if you ask me. Now we begin. The Sabo incident. But one day everything changes. Sabo's father, Sabo's dad, hired Captain Blue Jam to bring back Sabo and get rid of Luffy and A. Luffy, Luffy and A. Sabo begs his dad to tell Blue, Blue Jam to stop hurting them and that he will do whatever his dad commands to protect his two younger brothers. A tried to stop him from leaving, but the poor kid just walked away with his dad, with tears rolling down his face. Luffy and Ace then joined the Blue Jam Pirate at the request of the captain and carried cargo to the marked location in Great Talia with other pirates. Later, Blue Jam revealed to Ace and Luffy that the cargo they had brought was oil and gunpowder and that Great Talia will be engulfed with flame. Luffy and Ace react in an outrage and are quickly apprehended by the pirate. Blue Jam is then informed them that they can no longer be kept alive and ask them about the location of their horde of treasure. Later that night, the flames start up, and Luffy and Ape manage to cut themselves loose after being tied, tied up. Luffy and Ape are now running for their lives to survive, so they can one day set out the sea and accomplish their dream. While trying to escape, the two run into Blue Jam once more. Blue Jam decides that he is to die, and he will take the two with him. However, he, he asks he first asked Ace one last time to reveal the location of their treasure. While Luffy is against it, Ace is willing to let the pirate have the treasure to ensure his little brother Luffy's safety. However, after Ace tells Blue Jam where the treasure is, Blue Jam had to recruit, restrain Luffy and Ace. As Blue Jam began to badmouth Sabo, Ace verbally retaliated, sparring Luffy to bite his captured arm. The, the pirate responds by slapping him across the stake with his sword before the gun. Before the pirate can finish Luffy off, Ace must out a scream of rage, unknown to everyone, including himself, that he is wielding the hockey of the king. Conquerors hockey. 
The black knocked everyone down aside from Luffy and Blue Jam. Blue Jam almost killed Day, but then Donna appeared to rescue the two boys. Although she wants to run back home with them, Ace refuses to run away. Luffy decides to stay and fight as well, but Donna forbids it, remain reminding him in his place that Luffy is, taken, is then taken back by the bandit to recover at home. Luffy awaits the next day, crying that he wants to know if Ace, Sala, if Ace, Sala, and Sabo are alright. After Durag goes to check the remaining answer to Great, uh, Great Hamlia, Luffy is very upset for not being allowed to go look for Ace and Donna. Suddenly, Ace arrives carrying Donna on his back. Luffy jumps over Ace, crying in relief for Ace being alive. He said that Luffy should not worry about him being dead, because he won't ever die, hitting Luffy on the head. Ace tells how he and Donna got out of the burning Talia after beating Blue Jam, and Donna re rests while getting healed with the medicine Ace stole from town. Later that day, while outside playing with two beetles, Luffy sees Durag coming back with a sword and tells him that Donna and Ace were already home. Da Donna Durug then tells him, while looking for Ace and Donna, he went to the city and saw Stabo standing still on a boat. And that and then the boat was shot by a celestial dragon. Ace attacked Durag, accusing him of lying, but he replies he's not lying, nor dreaming. He saw it with his own eyes. Luffy realized that Sala was not happy at all for coming back to the city and starts to cry. Ace tried to go to the city to avenge him, but is stopped by Daba because she is afraid of Ace being killed, blaming the country for killing Sabo, not only the nobles. Since Ace is too angry, he is tied to a tree while Luffy cries the whole night. Luffy and Ace have lost their brother to the horror and terrible and horror and terror that is the celestial dragon. A while later, Luffy, still mourning Sabo, asked asked Ace to promise him that he will never die, in which Ace makes the promise to Luffy that he will not leave his crying baby little brother alone, ever. Luffy then decides that he wants to be much stronger. As they're near this training, stealing food from the royal town and growing with Ace, Luffy witnesses Ace's departure at age 17, with Luffy only being 14. Reading three more years, Luffy decides to train some more, finally mastering his Gamu Gamu no pistol. Ready to depart when he turns 17, he then thanks Donna and the bandit, and then waves goodbye to the rest of the village, saying that he is the third, after Gamu and Ace depart, to depart, and he then declares his dream, I will become the Pirate King! And that is the end of the history of the Straw Hat Pirate. We have now gone over the history and backstory of every single Straw Hat. Next week we begin the quick summaries of the adventures of the crew and the history of the Straw Hat Pirate as a crew and their adventures that took place after the formation of the crew after Lucy's next nail. But guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. This is One Piece Nation. Dining out. Have a great day, guys.